Hello guys, this is Rich of Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But before we start the devotional guys, I'd like to shout out the following person channel na napunta rito at then join sa devotional natin. Shout out and God bless to Saki Carionians TV, Michael Aborita, Connie Vlog, Retro Vlog, Pamilya Lagan Channel, Jen Anthony Fuentes, Royal Blood, Dines Pakadalhin, Molik Salamara, Heart Ponsalan, Honey Love, Stay Happy Vlog, Rosalito Vlog, Loris Channel, Jusulinko Studio, Seisha Love, Rusel Badong, Will Si Joy Lacumba, Sofia Bianca, Hatchero, Ruyang's Channel, Love, Love School Winter Channel, and Debs Bilia. Shout out na rin sa mga hindi nakisabay na manood dito sa devotional but still napunta pa rin dito para manood at makinig sa devotional. God bless us all guys. it's Saturday again. Kumusta yung whole day natin? No? Sana may na-achieve tayo mga mga maski ano lang gawain sa bahay, no? That's an achievement already, no? Pagwawali sa surroundings, no? Then basta paglinis ng bahay, no? And then togetherness with the togetherness with the family also because kailangan talaga natin 'yan. Okay guys, let's now proceed to our devotional. Let's open the Bible to 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 to 9. Still guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words you see so simplified to maintain that talaga natin. Okay, what I'm reading is uh, praise to God for a living hope. So the word of the Lord in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 to 9 says, Praise be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His great mercy, He has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade, kept in heaven for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you greatly rejoice through, now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials, these have come to the to that so that your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may be proved genuine and may result in praise, glory and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Though you have not seen him, you love him, and even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an experienceable and glorious joy. For you are receiving the goals of your faith, the salvation of your soul. Amen and Amen. I guess let's not pray. Yes, that's true, God. Uh, our faith, our self is tested by far because problem after problem after problem is coming in. But yet, we already experience your glorious riches, O oh God. Yung mga imposibling kasagutan na mga dinadasal namin. And thank you, dear God, for making us perfect that we could really depend and to you. Lord, I pray sa mga viewers na dito ngayon, whatever problem they are in at this time, may you console them, oh God. May you give them peace of mind. And Lord, kung ano man yung pinipray nila na matagal na di na nasagot, may you give it to them. Now, oh Lord God, starting today, Lord, lalo lalo na yung mga faithful na pumupunta rito na uh, andito talaga oh God. Lord, I pray for blessing unto them that whatever desires of their heart will be given oh God. Uh, na nanggaling sa you. Bless it to oh God. Bless it to oh God. Because they delight themselves before you. And therefore, you're going to give them the desires of our heart. Bless each one of us even as we move on this devotional. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and Amen. Okay guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in 1 Peter 1.8 and it says, Though you have not seen Him, you love Him. And even though you do not see Him now, you believe in Him. So the title of the devotion for this evening guys is Unseen Wonder. 
In the twilight of her years, Mrs. Goodrich's thought came in and out of focus along with memories of a challenging and grace-filled life. Sitting by a window overlooking the waters of Michigan Grand Traverse Bay, she reached for her notepad in words she soon wouldn't recognize as her own, she write. Here I am in my favorite chair, with my feet on the sill, and my heart in the air. The sun struck waves on the water below in constant motion. The way I don't know, but thank God, dear Father above, for your memor immemorable gift and your undying love for us. It always amazes me. How can it be? that I am so in love with one I cannot see. Agabi, no? The Apostle Peter acknowledged such wonder. He had seen Jesus with his own eyes. Wow, what a great opportunity, no? But those who would read his letter, letter had not. Though you have not seen him, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. We love Jesus not because we're commanded to, but because with the help of the Spirit, we begin to see how much He loves us. It's more than hearing that He cares for people like us. It's experiencing for ourselves the promise of Christ to make the wonders of His, sin, His unseen presence and Spirit real to us at every stage of life. Amen. Amen. Gabi guys, no? Yung sulat ni Michigan, no? Uh, I mean, Mrs. Goodrich na I'm so in love, no? That I am so in love with one I cannot see. Well, that's true. We cannot see God. But uh, I know we love God because hindi nga natin siya marinig. Nakakausap natin siya. Uh, we learn to, to love God because God is... Uh, doing some miracles sa buhay natin, di ba? I, I know guys na no, you also experience miracles, big miracles, no? Uh, malilit na miracle that came from God. It's not from anywhere, anywhere or anybody else, but that comes from God. Kaya, ang ganda ng ano niya, no? Maski nga si Peter, uh, ang ganda din ang ano ng, ni Peter dito. Sabi niya, though you have not seen him, pag, no? If we just believe in Him and are filled with an inexpressible joy, we love Jesus. So, di ba ang ganda? Yeah, guys, no? God's love for us is so great, no? So wide, so deep, na hindi talaga magpatong yung love niya sa atin. Kaya, uh, we love because God first loves us, no? May mga miracles talaga sa akin, ah, uh, God gave me a big miracle, no? Big miracle talaga. And then, <clears throat> still, ginanahan akong maghingi sa kanya. I am asking God of big things, but I'm also acting big things through prayer. Kaya, yan. Anahin natin yan, guys. Nothing is impossible with God. I guess as I proceed to the two question, in First Peter, Chapter 1, 3 to 9, again, in what ways do these words show you how our God makes them expressible, real to us? Yan na, yung sinabi ko na, hindi ko lang kasi sinabi sa inyo na I am asking God, no, of something without preparation. May preparation pa rin ni Masyado, but God did a miracle. Oh, di ba? So, mga friends ko dyan sa Facebook, siguro nakita niyo yung, ano, pero I'm not giving you a hint kung ano yun, no? Basta uh, God gave me a very big answer to sa akin, milagro talaga yan, no? And I'm still, ano, asking God for another miracle. Kaya, kinanahan ako, ano, hingi ng hingi kay God, no? Kasi, uh, imagine ninyo, yung bata maliit na no? walang kakayanan, no? Laging hingi ng hingi sa parents niya, na may kaya naman yung parents niya. So, ganyan din si Lord. Kasi God owns everything. So, He loves 
us na maghingi tayo sa kanya. Sa kanya natin hingin lahat yung mga pangangailangan natin. And I know, and I know, and I'm so excited na God would really, uh, ano, uh, give it to you. Example, no, may isa kong sudyante, sabi niya, Sir, ganito, uh, she's talking about cellphone, sabi ko, one day soon, God will give you yung iPhone. Tama, no? <laughs> Kapo lang sabi niya, Sir, nagkatotoo yung sinabi mo, I already have my iPhone. No? Imagine, di ba? Sabi niya, ang bilis naman na ano, nang sagot, Sir, o di ba? Let's not limit God. Grabe yung ano niya. Uh, she cannot even expect about that iPhone, but God uh, gave her the iPhone. Second question, <clears throat> how often are you to the Spirit of Jesus who lives in and among us? Well, God knows what I am doing. God knows na, uh, what I am asking. God knows the desire of my heart because doon siya nakatira sa heart ko. No? Sa heart natin kaya. God knows the desire of our heart. Sabi nga, delight yourself to the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. I guess that's not pray. Our Father in heaven, please help us to see the miracle of your love and presence in your Son and to believe in your Spirit. Amen and amen. Guys, let's not limit God. God is so wonderful, so loving, lahat lahat na ng mga positive values na sa Kanya. God bless us all guys because I know God so bless 10 times better. This again is TV. Kita-kita tayo ulit tayo sa muli. Paalam!